It's only been a few months since we got C-Sharp 12 together with .NET 8 in November 2023. However, today I'm already showing you the first C-Sharp 13 proposal that got implemented in a C-Sharp 13 preview version. In C-Sharp 12, we got collection expressions as a new compiler feature. As a quick reminder, collection expressions allow us to define collections with a shorter syntax, which reminds me of how we declare arrays in JavaScript and TypeScript. There is no new keyword and we don't use curly braces when using the new syntax. All we need is squared brackets and separating the values by a comma. Collection expressions are great, but what new feature do we get with c 13? Well, the new feature is called params collections and it allows us to use collection types when using the params keyword. With c 12 and earlier versions, we were limited to use arrays when using the params keyword. For example, let's say we want to implement a print names method that accepts a variable number of usernames. We declare the parameter as an array of string. But what if we want to use list or read-only span instead of an array? With c 12, we are out of luck and the compiler throws an error stating that the params parameter must be a single dimensional array. However, when I change the branch to the preview feature with c 13, the code compiles and we are able to use list, read-only span and other collection types when using the params keyword. This takes us to the question of what advantages does the new c -sharp compiler feature provide? First of all, we need fewer type conversions when using the params keyword and working with a variable length parameter list. Consider the following example. We first create a list of string. Next, we want to call a method that has a parameter using the params keyword. Without this new compiler feature, we call the toArray method or use the spread operator and therefore allocate memory to store the data in a new array. When we want the convenience of a collection type within the method, we then create a new instance of that collection type, allocating memory again. When we use the c 13 params collections combined with the c 12 collection expressions, we don't allocate memory multiple times. We don't create a short-lived array. Instead, we can provide the instance that we created of any collection type and provide it as the argument for a method that uses the params keyword. Besides the performance aspects, we also improve the general code quality because we can write shorter and cleaner code when using the params keyword in our code. The reason is that we get around the previously existing limitation of only being able to declare arrays when using the params keyword. So what's the impact of params collections in c 13 for my everyday work? I'm mostly writing business applications and I cannot remember when I last used the params keyword to declare a method. I usually declare and use collection types when providing multiple arguments between different methods. However, I know that library authors often have to overload methods and provide different APIs for single and multiple arguments of the same type. And therefore, I can see a lot of potential for code improvement and less method overloading when implementing those libraries. In my opinion, it's more about the quality of life improvement than about performance improvements. Now, what do you think? How much impact will this new feature have on your code? In conclusion, adding params collections is continuing the journey that was started in c 12, where we got collection expressions. They allow us to write simpler APIs and could be a performance boost in certain areas. For me, it's most likely a modernization of a keyword that has been in c -sharp for a very long time. Params collections will close the gap that has been opened by improving the language over many years. Will it completely change the way I write my c -sharp code in the future? Probably not. However, will it be handy in some situations? Absolutely.
If you're interested in more details, you can find a link in the video description to the c -sharp language feature proposal written by the c -sharp language design team. Keep in mind that Param's collections are still in preview and that you can provide feedback. Also, they could change the feature at any time or completely remove it from c -sharp 13. Only time will tell. If you want to learn more about .NET development, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video.